Now, consumer protection is what we're turning our attention to next in light of recent developments with regards to customers' complaints about some products, particularly mobile phones. I'm being joined now on the program from our Abuja studios by the Director General, Consumer Protection Council, Mrs. Dukwe Atoki. A good morning to you and thank you so much for joining me on the program this morning. Good morning, Harriet. Now, let's start from the burning issue. Your agency has uh, given Samsung, it's a mobile phone maker, an ultimatum to give Nigeria a status report on the recall of Galaxy Note 7. What actually is uh, the next step on this? Because it's been in the dailies. Um, um, thank you, Harriet. Um, consumers, we, we know of the um, global issue as it affects um, the Samsung Note 7, um, which has um, some battery defects where um, it explodes. And over the uh, several countries, there's been reports of uh, explosion on, uh, on, on vehicles, on, um, uh, on houses, and... Um, even in the pocket of a man who, who had his phone, and in the hands of a, um, a six-year-old um, uh, uh, young boy. And so um, it's, it's a, it's, the phone is an international product, uh, which um, anyone can buy uh, anywhere. And um, the CPC is concerned that um, the Samsung notepad may have been bought by um, several Nigerians. And in line with our mandates um, and the powers to compel uh, dealers or manufacturers or suppliers of uh, products to give uh, public notice um, that are inherent in, in their products. Um, the CPC um, contacted Samsung for an update, uh, the status report of what they are doing in Nigeria. Uh, because as uh, some of us may well know, in the U.S., uh, the um, the uh, commission in ch responsible for safety had already issued far-reaching notices to consumers and had um, directed Samsung to recall that particular uh, phone. Uh, but in Nigeria, as we speak, um, I, I believe that uh, Samsung has not made any statement just yet. But we are proactive in um, demanding that there should be a status report. But in the interim, we've asked um, um, consumers to... Uh, stop using that phone and um, link up with the international directive uh, to get a replacement or uh, a refund, as the case may be. Now, you recently also launched a campaign on the need for businesses and service providers to stick to the rules on warranty and guarantees. Can you enlighten the public more on consumers' rights in this regard? Uh, thank you, Harriet. I mean, that is the crux of consumer protection, that a consumer gets value for money, and which means when you buy a product or uh, you pay for a service, that you get the value for it. Uh, and so um, on the side of the businesses, there is a guarantee which is uh, either express or implied that the product they have sold will meet the... the, um, the um, the reason for what it has been, for which it has been purchased, and to guarantee that there will be no failed uh, service if it is a service that has been paid for. And there is also the warranty that within a specific time, if there is a failure of service or the product uh, fails to meet um, uh, the required standards, that the consumer will be redressed. And we have what we call the three R's. Uh, the redress can be in the form of a refund, a replacement, or a repair. Uh, but we do know from the Nigerian context that uh, consumers still have challenges to get this redress from um, businesses. And um, that informed the CPC to um, have a stakeholders meeting with businesses this time around, with leading businesses in automobile, in um, telecom, uh, in um, uh, e-commerce in supermarkets and various um, 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 businesses to come together and, and, and be informed of their obligation to ensure that once a consumer has a problem with a product that has been sold, that they 
uh, immediately implement the, the, the warranty and provide redress. Um, and this, this is not forthcoming. Sometimes we have receipts that have been given uh, as evidence of purchase with, with um, phrases like goods purchased cannot be returned or there's no refund after payment. So the CPC wants this out of all business um, documentation. Those phrases should not be there. They should be taken out because there's an obligation that those goods, they may have been purchased in good condition if within the warranty period they, they, fell, they fall uh, below, below the standard, there should be a replacement. So we are keening into a global sensitization of um, um, consumer awareness to move away from sensitizing consumers, but to move to businesses to uh, sensitize them of their obligation um, under, uh, under the law to ensure that uh, the, the rights of the consumers to get value for money is implemented and it can only be so uh, when uh, the obligation of the, or of the businesses with regards to uh, the warranties and the guarantees are implemented. So well, that, that's, the, that, that, that's the reason for which we think uh, we need to do that because if we keep concentrating on uh, um, and ensuring that consumers enforce their rights, we must also on, an, on the same level um, ensure that businesses are aware of their rights, of their obligations rather, and they implement it. Without that, but, we um, can have a cohesion you know, of we, consumer we, protection. Let's quickly Never. try and wrap up this conversation now, Mrs. Atoki. And uh, you're still going back to the issue of you know, the, the phones. How, what is your agency doing in terms of collaborating with the Standards Organization of Nigeria to ensure that these phones, you know, even though at the moment you are still in dialogue with um, the makers, don't somehow find their way into um, second-hand markets, because we've got quite a number of those in Nigeria. Uh, uh, we, we, have a, we normally have collaborations with the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Uh, on issues like that, but it's imperative that consumers themselves know the danger. I, I believe that if it's well known that a product is hazardous, um, then the, 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 the consumer that goes ahead to buy those products um, won't have themselves to blame. But then uh, there is a synergy between the two, between the two agencies to ensure that uh, if it goes, gets to the market, uh, that uh, they, are, they are picked up. And we at the agency also have the powers uh, to ban uh, the sale, the distribution, and even the advertisement of so those products. So within our powers in the CPC, we are able to remove those products from the market uh, when we find that they are still there, or uh, if they had been advertised, we can uh, insist on, on the prohibition of the advertisement or the sales, as it were. Thank you so much, Mrs. Atoki, for telling us and bringing us up to speed what the CPC is doing protecting consumers' rights. A business morning returns after this. Please stay with us.